My name is Michael Wallace. I'm the Chief of Gastrointestinal Diseases at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. And today I'd like to talk to you about a very important study that we'll be presenting at our national meeting about a new technique for early detection of pancreas cancer. Pancreas cancer is one of the most deadly cancers in all of the United States and throughout the developed world. In fact, we can only cure a very small proportion of those diagnosed with pancreas cancer. And the main reason for that is it's often detected too late. Currently, our only available methods of detecting pancreas cancer are either invasive tests, like endoscopy with biopsy, or tests that involve some radiation, such as CAT scans, or are very expensive, such as MRI scans. So the main value of this uh, current study is to develop some less expensive, but also very accurate ways of detecting pancreas cancer at earlier stages. So in this study, we used a new measurement device uh, called spectroscopy to measure very subtle changes in the tissue around the cancers, even tissues that appeared completely normal. And in this case, we measured tissues in the small intestine and stomach in the vicinity of the cancer. And what we found is that even though these tissues appeared to look quite normal, we could measure changes in them that were clearly different in patients who had pancreas cancer compared to those that didn't. And using those measurements, we were actually able to detect all of the patients with cancer in a very precise and relatively uh, less invasive way than the procedures that we would normally use to detect pancreas cancer. The test itself involves an upper endoscopy, similar to what you would have if you were having frequent heartburn or other stomach ulcers or similar problems. That test is done under sedation, so you would be put to sleep uh, and monitored while you were asleep. And we pass a flexible tube through the mouth and into the stomach and the beginning of the small intestine. The measurements themselves are completely painless. We simply use a small optical fiber to take measurements. We flash a light, a special type of laser light on the tissue, and take measurements from the tissue. All of that only takes a few seconds to do. The whole procedure takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do. The main way that we detect pancreas cancer right now is to use initially CAT scans and MRI scans to see if there is a tumor present. And if there is, we would then do other more complex procedures to take a biopsy of that tumor to confirm cancer. Also that's done through endoscopes, but because we have to get additional biopsies and use more complex endoscopes, those procedures are longer, more expensive, and carry more risk than a simple upper endoscopy. If the study uh, results do hold true, then what it would allow is to begin screening individuals perhaps who are at elevated risk of pancreas cancer, such as those who may have a family member with pancreas cancer, or particularly those who have many family members with pancreas cancer, so that we could actually develop a screening uh, program. Uh, if, it was, uh, if it was useful in that group, we would then extend it to those at more average risk of pancreas cancer. One of the main uh, lessons we learned from studies like this is the value of collaboration, not only within our own institution, where gastrointestinal doctors, surgeons, oncologists collaborate, but this was also a multi-center study involving a very sophisticated group of medical physicists from the Northwestern uh, University in Chicago uh, that developed this technology and brought this technology to us so that we could evaluate it in a clinical scenario. So as with many other things in life, Cooperation, teamwork, um, and an integrated approach has been the most valuable way to approach these difficult problems.